There Welcome back to Lost Forge. I've got another giant pile of stuff here, and as you heard, uh, Trevor actually is with me on camera this time. I've already opened up some stuff, including the magic, because I hello I needed to open things. I couldn't resist, but I saved most of the Pokemon and uh, interesting stuff to, to do it on camera, just so I could get his reaction. Uh, Save the good stuff. Exactly. Also, I just wanted to show off, he got me some amazing ball guy sleeves. They are... Uh, best character in all of Pokemon. He better second be. Second best character. First, uh, <laughs> Actually, no, he's best character. Second best character is Swordbird. Swordbird. That, ha that hair, man. Nothing nothing wrong with that hair at all. <laughs> so we'll, we'll start with some of the odds and ends, and then we'll work our way to the Pokemon. Uh, yeah. So you were able... Because you've just been hunting down a bunch of cards from all over... Uh, Colorado in your area. God, forgot about the Sonic. <laughs> totally forgot yeah, that Sonic. was in there. <sighs> yeah, you were. You've gone to a couple stores where they had the the special promo packs. Mm -hmm. So we've got yeah, a special packs and promos. Special promotion pack, uh, dash pack one point five, dash pack one point five, and then two of the Rays Greymon. I think this was in one of the specialty packs, huh? I think so. I forget where that one came from, but I just sent them over to you. Yeah, so I got a place out of those now. Uh, opening the Dash Pack version 1, I don't know what... It's 1.0? Yeah, 1.0. They're shiny. I hate I hate tiny packs like this. Yeah, like... I always feel I always feel weird opening these up, because you don't want to like bend the card or anything like that. And it has the side tab too, which is very sketch. Yeah. Puppetmon. Oh my god, I love Puppetmon. Ooh, nice. From the Dark Masters uh, season of Digimon. Let's see, I'm trying I like to... that. Yeah, that's super slick. And then the 1.5. Oh my god. Ah. Yeah, I think what makes these annoying is like the the Digimon packs. They they have that tab to to go down the side, but their packs are the whatever material they're using it's it's thick so it's hard to like pull through sometimes yeah as you can see me str yep. <laughs> struggling oh my god fine we'll do it this way and then i'll like can i force my oh i need to sh shit do i do i not okay there we go there you go fucking christ howling crusher not bad, not bad. Not that bad. looks pretty slick. Yeah. I think that's Saber Leomon. And then this is the big one. This is the special box promotion pack. Um, I think the card... I, I, this is the only one I did research on. I'm going to grab my knife on this. Uh, I want the alternate art tie. The tie with... You don't like, want another Omnimon? I could go for another Omnimon. <laughs> That's probably what's going to happen. I'm cursed of... The curse of Omnimon. Get the chase card. There we go. Uh, what do we got? Cards. It's getting stuck on, like, the lip. Alright. We got Garurumon... And we're Gurumon. I like the the rainbow foiling through that. It it looks like if you hold it just right there, it is. There. Yeah, it's like an oil slick. That's exactly what I was gonna say, like an aur aurora borealis or an oil <laughs> slick. This Gurumon okay. at this time. At this time of day, at this time of night, isolated entirely with a Gurumon. <laughs> yes. Yes. Can I see it? No. No. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to show, I've kept this in... Uh, oh, yeah, kept it in the cardboard. Yeah, yeah Sora. Yeah, so this is a tournament promo Sora from the new Digimon uh, Adventure Series, also with that oil slick rainbow. Mm -hmm. But this one, you were talking about it, and I looked it up, and TCG players like, it's a, it's expensive because no one can go play tournaments. So, yeah, I was wondering. I was wondering why a random promo card was so much, but as you're saying, local tournaments are very hard to come by. Right. Very, very strange. 
Uh, the I next... think I'm like the only person that gets Digimon stuff from my local game shop. Honestly, I I pick up Digimon stuff at one of the local places I'm at too, which is really kind of rare. I was at speaking of stuff. The last time I was at uh, my local card shop, they had about thirty players for Cardfight Vanguard. Really? Yeah. Weird, right? Like I have wow. not heard about. I, I guess it's more popular in this area, but yeah, thirty pe- there were people there for there, and there were people in costume. It was just. Someone was in like a generic ninja costume, you get like part of the city. <laughs> but uh, next, you sent me is this flesh and blood. Um... So this is like a, a like promo starter set or like starter deck sort of a yeah. thing, like help you learn the game. I was gonna see um, if it's anything close to what we have for this flesh and blood deck because this deck is thick. It's stacked with a lot of stuff. I'm not. I'm. I have yeah. no idea how to play flesh and blood. I just saw that and it looked sick. Yeah, it looks like there's a full set of equipment for her, if I recall correctly. An elemental token, helmets, actions. There's a lot of dupes of actions and stuff. Yeah, there's... So it looks like it's like a full playset of stuff. Yeah, and I'm, wonder- I'm wondering if it's anything like uh, the Blitz deck, like this one. Because uh, I have the Blitz sure. deck of her, but it feels, yeah, it feels a little bit... Yeah, it's, it's about the same comparable. size. Yeah, yeah. But then, yeah, we got Lexi, who's the uh, Elementalist Ranger, uh, which is awesome. I do have a first edition pack of the set that, uh, the newest set, like Tales of Aria. So I don't, depending if the box raises in price, uh, I might hold on to it. I might open it. We'll see. There are some very expensive cards. Like, if I can get one card, I could probably, like, triple my money. But those are extremely rare to go by. But we're going to start... With the Pokemons, we've hey. got an Evolving Skies deck. I I I wonder how a pre-release works with Pokemon. I know. Um. So pre, like, how does a, a tournament work, or how do these boxes work? I think I know how the tournament works, but like, I, I wonder how well you can actually do a pre-release like successfully with the like how these things are seated. Because you there's I think like pretty pretty well actually. Whoa. So they they give you uh like the base like a, a base amount of uh. Pokemon cards to like create a deck around. Promo Moltres. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I like that. So yeah, if you open this up, you'll see it'll have a bunch more cards to help you like build a deck. Right. So there's yeah. So you got the the Moltres, then Copycats, Essence, Professor's Research. Okay, I see a lot of normal type Pokemon because you know that takes everything. And then since we got the promo, we got the Zoroarks. Wow, they yes. give you like keeping keeping with the same um, uh, element. Okay, so that it, it would just kind of if you know if I was smart, I'd probably keep to that. Yep. That or pack. unless you get some some sweet pulls out of this out of these packs, and you want to sub those into your deck. Oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm still working on getting the camera adjusted correctly with the lighting. Hopefully, when we get to the new house the office will uh, I'll be able to control the light a bit better yeah you'll have a more a more uh, permanent setup too we, ooh Sylveon it's not dark Sylveon though it's a good pull <laughs> no that's a really good pull yeah. also I, I, I like that um, that play mat you have there thank where'd you, you where'd you pick up that one I picked this up for my local target it's from the Pikachu Evolution set oh picked... nice yeah which I am working on getting that uh, packed up for you here soon. Oh, thank you. Sam. I haven't, I haven't forgotten. Water, low tad, lucky ice pox, graphy, C dot. I love C dot. I, I say that every time I see it. But he's yeah. like, it's a good line. Yeah. And then that's a rare. Okay. And then oh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe you want to add some water into that deck. <laughs> yeah. So nice, we gave it to you twice. <laughs> yeah, I hate to see that happen. At least you didn't get Weedled like uh, Ray did. The Weedle, yeah, that Weedle stuff was. You remember he got six Weedles in one pack. That was from, how... yeah, that was like Evolutions, right? I think no, I think that was that was recent. That was like Chilling Rain or something. I think. Hitman Chant, Lotad. Oh, I love Lotad. 
Who's you Jake? love C dot and I love Ooh, Oh that's a good one. That's a really good pull. Zidia's resolve. Full art. Oh, man. 203 of 203. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. That's a spicy one. I I just love how clean the art looks on full art trainer cards. Yeah, and their texture too, which is really nice. Now we mm -hmm. flip it over and we go go do this, and then we go do that, and then we flip one, two, three, four. Keep grass. You're getting some good pulls out of this. Uh, I know. Battle deck. You're yeah. you're already batting 500. Right. I'd I'd be the envy of everybody at my table. <laughs> and then Chaploof. Hey. Nice good. little hollow to finish it off. Yeah. A pretty good. Only one dud out of the whole whole pack. That that's a pretty. Yeah. Good... That I I really like that Zidia's. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm going to have to start putting prices and stuff on screen. <laughs> this one. Look at all the amazing stuff he sent me. <laughs> I'm going to put that back there first. I'm, I'm glad you're getting some good pulls out of these. Right? All right. And then Sanic again. <laughs> Sanic. Got to go fast. And then we have three evolution. Ten oh, these you got to have the full set. I, I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to keep the, uh, the promos inside of the tins to keep them full or print. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. But what's really weird is they're all Vaporeons. It's like Vaporeon, mm -hmm. Vaporeon, Vaporeon. <clears throat> so that's something um I've noticed Pokemon does with their tins. Uh, whenever they do a, a line of tins, the actual body of the tin is the exact same art all the way around. It's only the, the cover of the tin that they change. They did that with uh Hidden Fates, they did that with the um Empoleon and Tyranitar tins that were out recently. Um, Shining Fates, I believe, had the same stuff, too. Yeah, and you're able to flip the, the tin around. Well, no, I guess you really can't. Because you could flip it to that side and then have them, I guess, Yeah, you could if you want. But, but, I mean, most people want to look at look at that cover. Yeah, you want to have the cover. It, and it's also nice that this is peelable off, too. Mm -hmm. We'll start with your boy, Jolteon. Yeah, my boy. So I have no idea what comes in these tins, actually. I think it's like four packs of a random assortment of Sword and Shield stuff. That's nice that they're they're moving away from the plastic that yes. bends them. But it's oh, also man. like, once it's out, it's out, I guess. So I guess yeah. it's a decision yeah. for me. Yeah, they, I feel like they started doing that with the um, the V Union boxes, the Exodia cards. Yeah, uh, all, all paper as well. That's... That's nice That's because nice. That's nice. Good good move, Pokemon. I have just hordes of trash I still have to take out from the last couple of box openings I've done. And and paper is recyclable. These plastics are not as much. Oh yeah, so Evolving Skies, Battle Style, Sword and Shield, Chilling Rain. So okay. yeah, it's an assortment sets. of sword and shield stuff. Well, the last three sets and then a base sword and shield. Oh, I still get we still getting base, um uh what is it? sun and moon in some stuff like they still yeah. can't get rid of the sun and moon yeah they can't get they overprinted sun and moon base set did i do that wrong Kaboo. <gasps> Ooh, it's your boy it's this is the wrong pack <laughs> it's supposed <laughs> to be in this one nice wow that's a slick pull that's a double rare pack too, because the uh, Verse Hollow Jumplum, the yeah. Vmax Vaporeon. We're we're trying to go for the the, the Alt Art Vmax. I don't know. My luck has been killer because out of the loose packs I opened, I got that Dragonite, which yeah, also you got Sleepy like... Dragonite. Oh, that's one of my favorite cards from this set. I know everybody loves the Rayquazas, but Sleepy yeah. Dragonite. Well, I just like the ones that are like I, I like how there's Pokemon just kind of in the natural environment. As like these alternate arts, yeah. Crab Brawler and Thunderous, still foil, not not bad. Hey, not bad. And Battle Styles. Let's Battle Styles back. was a, a a great pack as far as art. I think the DLC for Sword and Shield has way better Pokemon art. Oh, something good. Oh, too. Right, definitely. Um, All right, let's see if we can get a gold uh, Octillery out of this one. Man, I think that's art. that's one of the gold cards out of Battle Styles. Man, that would just be insane. That would be pretty insane. <laughs> no, Empoleon. Ooh, 
Hey, Empoleon, not bad. Three for three so far. Man, that's that's a good value tin. I'll yeah, that's it. a really good tin. <laughs> Which one is this base set? Yeah, this is base set. I think there's a rainbow Lapras in here. Yeah, that's the the V Max rainbow, mm -hmm. rainbow Lappy. Sizzle P. I tried hunting for a foil of that. Oh, what a tin! That's oh wow, that's a tin. Jolteon provides. Yeah, Jolteon has your boy had has not let you down. <laughs> not at all. That's a I like that Zamazenta. That's a nice one. Which one's that? That is uh, 196 or 202. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I already, I already cut that open. Cut that piece. That's here. um, that's the alt art of uh, I have the I have the regular yeah. art of that Ramazenta. I still think one of my favorite videos we did is what we were doing the dueling packs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a fun. Because we weren't seeing the rainbow one for so long, and Tim's like getting super confused about like what what we're doing. Yep. And then we get the Vaporeon. All right, now it's now it's time for Vaporeon. Is this the same Vapor? Oh no, that was the V Max Vaporeon we got. But yeah, well now you have a V to evolve into a V Max. I know. Like, I I wonder if there is a Pokemon sitting out here. There probably is. I know that there's scalpers everywhere. That's for sure. Yeah. But, well, I I think I told you about there. There's a fairgrounds that I go to, and like the first time I ever went there, I was talking to someone about Pokemon cards. He's like. This guy's a scalper, this guy's a scalper, this guy's a scalper. This guy's cool, but his prices are a little bit high, like, in comparison. But mm. it's just, like, I... The, there was an old guy who runs the thing, and he wanted, like, $700 for a sealed uh, fossil first edition. And I was just like... Uh, uh, a pack? A just pack. one pack? Yeah. Wow. And it's just tough to... Food. Uh, he's just tucked away inside of one of like the permanent structures, so it's just huh. like, yeah, yeah. I, th I think that's a little high for a. Uh... Is it a first edition booster pack? I think it might have been first edition. I it, there there was something about it that just didn't seem right. I think it might have been Wade. Gotcha. And I think gotcha. he was advertising it as Wade, but because yeah, I, th I think most fossils like a fossil booster pack goes for like maybe a couple hundred. Right. I love cast form. I wish cast form would get more forms or something like cast form. Yeah. Thunderous. It's very double, a little sh double little rare. Shaman. A little shaman. You gonna get pearl? Diamond or pearl? Uh, I'm going diamond. Are you going diamond or pearl? Uh, are I, you, or are you picking it up at all? I was originally not going to because you know I was just like I'm not a fan of this generation, but. I'm itching for po uh, a more like standardized Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Sword and Shield was good. I I just I, I fell off of uh, I just fell off of playing the DLC stuff because it just hard gates you, which I yeah. think is just stupid. Yeah, I totally get that. Mm. Is that at least a double rare? Mm. Yeah, at least it was double rare. Okay. See, the worst is not even a double rare. You get a foil common into. I did. Did you use all the luck on on Jolteon? I think I, Vaporeon is just leaving me out in the out in the rain here <laughs> with its rain dance ability. But we'll see. Water. Energy surge. <laughs> I love that pseudo widow. He's just like, hi! Yeah. <laughs> Class, Rhinehorn, Big Loud, Shootle. Huh. Oh, that's a good one! That's a really good one. Oh man, sleeper there hit on that one. We just we just had to just had to complain a little. Yeah. What's your EV sign? You, Vaporeons are very drowsy and quick to temper, but you know they'll still do you good in the end. <laughs> With their fiery passion, Flareon is going to be the one that will take you to charge. I don't remember all of them. Leafion, the grass Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Flareon, let's go. Our last. I think you should do this. These in reverse order. Start with base set. Oh, okay. I'm running out of space for these tins. I'm gonna move these here. Oh god. 
<laughs> that's that's like probably the the one main complaint I have with Pokemon Company is like Some... there's a lot of wasted space in their packaging. Well, my thing is like also certain sets only come from select tins, and so you're gonna just start stacking up a lot of trash. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, again, like, my Pikachu box over there is still on the ground. There isn't a good way to, you know, throw it away. You have, to, you have to break it down. Yeah. Break it down now. Quabby. Chincho. Quabby. Cloyster. Oh, Cloyster. Not too bad. Floralize, uh, favorite Pokemon of choice from the Elite Four. Yeah. She was the, she was supposed to be like the ghost type. But that wasn't like, <clears throat> Agatha is ghost type. Agatha, you know Floralize I'm the ghost. Type. <laughs> That's right, Agatha <laughs> with only four Pokemon that she could pick from, or three Pokemon <laughs> to pick from. Yeah, from pretty that much. Generation. Very specialized. Now you could get a pretty good, uh, Victory Bell. Pretty good ghost team. I want to kind of do that. I want to do a. Uh, it goes like a full ghost team. Yeah, do like a Pokemon run. That's kind of like a uh, Nuzlocke, but you have it's it's a type only challenge. That'd be interesting. I wanted to kind of do a randomized Nuzlocke, but the problem is I just don't know if I want to stream it or not or do anything with emulators. Even though some of the games I do own in one form or another, I just don't know where the. You mean your your Game Boy Super Advance uh, SP? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just have it hard, hard. Uh... God, blah. Then Ampharos. Wow. And Flareon. <laughs> Flareon is just disappointing. out. <clears throat> Smoldering. Smolder. Evolving skies. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Didn't feel. Didn't feel so hot. Now you, you weren't feeling it. No, I, I, I felt the the back card. Just, just to be cheeky. But, but there's Feebas and mm, wow. Go back, flaring. go back into those trainer cards. Look at that scroll. Have you looked at those trainer cards? What the hell? <laughs> this, uh, the single strike Pokemon. Uh, this card is attached to can use the attack, and then it will just deal 300 damage for one fighting yeah. two steel. What? That is so. It's to combat the VMAX Pokemon that have over 300 health. Like, that Snorlax VMAX you pulled is like 340, if I'm not mistaken. The numbers, they're too high. Yeah. And then, I mean, um, if you look at, like, the, the Charizard from the Celebration set, like the Classic, I think it only has, like, 120 or 140 health. Actually, I have. That was a lot of health back in the day. Yeah, 140. Um, yeah. Sorry, I was, look, I was looking at seeing if I still had the Blaine's Charizard or ah. Lance's Charizard to see if that that was super crazy too. Yeah, I think I think evolution lines at this point are just a legacy thing. I think they really need to just kind of revamp. Yeah, they need to they need to kind of rehash how power how to power up within the game. I heard did, I heard Yu Gi Oh did that where they just started a, a new version of Yu-Gi-Oh in, in the Didn't anime they? stuff. Yeah. I don't know how how accurate that is anymore. But. So, fun fact about this card, this Dragapult Prime card you have. Yeah. Um that's the only form that card exists in. Cuz the Prime series was back in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Right. Oh god, I just spilled <laughs> I I Dragapult Dragapult Sword Shield. Right, and I just spilled every single one of those packs on my like. Oh floor. no! Oh no! How many were there, and where did they go? Oh god! <laughs> I they don't go? remember. Uh, but you got a cool binder for all your giant cards now. Another cool. Oh, binder. that's the binder. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that that's a binder for you. Neat. Now, um, let me find what what was supposed to be in here. Uh, one foil, two celebrations, uh, yeah, one additional, two celebrations. a pocket binder, one coin, an information sheet. A co okay, so yeah, that was literally everything. It was just these three. No, the 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 binder is, is super slick. That I might, yeah, I might. Oh yeah, it's not for giant. I think it's just another four 
for a slaughter. Yeah, I gotta. I I still have the celebrations giant one. I love the giant one. Mm -hmm. Like, it's niche, but it's a good one. Prime Pokemon. Yeah, I think Dark Sylveon is the only type of it, uh, only one of its type as well, right? Yep. Yep. And I want to say Lance's Charizard is too. Yeah. I keep calling it Blaine's Charizard because I believe the original Charizard was Blaine's. Yep. Check out the other Pikachu coin here. You got one from one of the other tins. This one's gold. This one's silver. Ooh, nice. Put that with the other uh, landfill fodder. Put that there. My uh, Pokemon binder is actually filling up, so I want to put some of the cooler stuff in there. Or nice. might put all the evolutions or celebration stuff. You could put your yeah your celebrations master set in there. I don't know. I kind of like the master set where, it, where it's currently sitting. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's... um, it's it's four buys, so you could put your V Union cards in there. Ooh, that is very true. Celebrations are all white packs. So yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, there, there's your code. There's your code. <laughs> And then we, we take that to the front because that's going to be that's a neat your, one. Yeah, that's your neat one. And then the last card now is going to be your possible classic. The Alga, ah. you bitch. <laughs> I know Max, he's, he would he takes the last card and puts it in front of yeah. the other. I was watching him open the, the Fat Pikachu thing today, and it was driving me nuts. Oh, he opened one? Yeah, he opened one. Nice. Yeah, I, I have my, my little Fat Pikachu statue on a shelf. Oh, you find you got one, right? Oh, that's right. That conversation, the whole, yeah. But no, that 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 fat Pikachu is, yeah. is great. Yeah. Blitzel Slugma. Bell. He's a he's a good chonker. Zekrom. Hey, not too bad. Zekrom's a nice pokey. Yeah. I, I guess I guess the the white black and white and diamond and pearl generations to me because they're on the DS and I kind of was late to that party. It was just like eh. Like XY really got me back to the Pokemon for the second time. Come on. Still not yeah. as still not as bad as uh, the Digimon packs. Yeah. And then go, oh, we're gonna go. That's some not. Oh, we, oh, I know what that is on the end. <laughs> All right. We'll just we'll just go oh. in order. Okay, you got some good stuff in this one. Ooh! Yeah! Look at that. And Surfing Pikachu. Surfing Pikachu. Yeah. Do not have this one. I got the Luxray. Um, wait, she's Fire type? Yeah, that's interesting that they typed Guard of War Fire. Delta Species Guard of War. Ooh, that must have been a thing where they were just like, what if this Pokemon was a Fire type now? Bizarre. And that's that's such crazy uh hollow on that right. too. I can like barely see the guard war and all the speckling. It's probably just because my bad lighting in here. It could be, but they, they did like crazy speckle these things. Yeah, the the luxury is just absurdly speckly too. Like Yeah. But that's everything. I think that's that was a lot of really good pulls. Yeah, those were some nice pulls. I'm gonna have to put some in my uh, in my new my Dragon Pole binder. I think what what was all the stuff that came in? Like you could get the Dragon Pole binder, then there's the pin, then there's the um, play mat from the the Pikachu one. Yes, yeah, so there's the play mat from the Pikachu. There's the binder from the Dragon Pole. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, and then I think it's just the, the big cards or the other just big draws that people were looking for. Yeah. More packs, less less fun. Yeah. And then uh and the, the fun still goes because I know all through November they're releasing even more not necessarily celebrations packs, but um <clears throat> there's gonna be like a Pikachu Zekrom tag team box that's coming out there's like a charizard reshiram box that's uh, i think a walmart exclusive um but yeah so yeah no it's pretty much just the the binder and the pin are the main draws and then everything else are just big cards huh interesting yeah th ugh, there's too much and it, of course they haven't printed enough for anybody to get a hold of because they're like we're gonna release this sporadically and we don't 
Now the target. Oh, they've, they've printed enough for what they think is enough. <laughs> Go into any target and it's just magic and then sports cards and then only one pack per person. That's that's pretty much what it is, unfortunately. It, that's even how it is out here. Yeah. Like, I, I, I go early in the mornings, and even then, there's not a lot of stuff. No, I'm, I, 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 I am on a list at some places for, for celebration stuff. I just didn't go and jump on it because mm-hmm. I was lucky enough to get it at Target. But, yeah. But that, that, nice. was, that was a lot of good stuff, man. Like, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, those are some good pulls. Yeah, what do you got? Let's see some highlights. Let's see some highlights. Well, we got the Gardevoir. If you want. And then we've got this stack. Got the a lot of the bulk, right? Oh, there he Sorna. is. Well, I had to go through all of the stuff from the flare. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then we got him, Napoleon, and <clears throat> Vaporeon again. There's. Where else was there? Not pulling out the, 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 the foil foils. That's going to just probably go into... Yeah, yeah. There's the Krabbies. Krabby. I think, yeah, I think those are the, the main hits from this. And then in... And the Evolving Skies box. Pre-release box. Open battle. Yeah. We got... That had some hits. That had some definite hits. Got... Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That. And of course the promo. Yeah, that's... A lot of hits. Nice. Yeah, those, those, are some, those are some good pulls you got there. Nice and shiny. Maybe tilt this up just a little bit. No, it's still gonna have the same. No, that's that's a lot of really good pulls. Like I'm really excited about this one, this one, and these two. Yeah. But I think I got the full Pikachu set because uh, in one of the evolutions pack I opened off camera, I got V Surfing Pikachu, which is like the last Pikachu I was missing. So I have the full. Pikachu nice. Set. They have all the all the chunky boys. All the chunks. So. Nice. Nice indeed. Awesome. Yeah, no. yeah, but thank you very much for sending this all over. I I really do appreciate you spoiling me with more more cards. <laughs> I got your of dice course. tower ready to go and, and chip it. It is a little tiny, but it's still a nice display piece. Oh, no worries, man. No worries. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what packs you uh want us to open on camera and if you like this dual commentary stuff and I'll, I'll try to bug him to, to watch me open more stuff or vice versa so we'll we'll see yeah thanks for stopping by yeah thank you very much for watching please subscribe and we will see you guys next time see ya toodaloo <laughs> <laughs>